I spent $100,000 on this obstacle course just for you. It's a new YouTube series that I'm calling The Impossible Obstacle Course. The first person to complete it will win the grand prize $25,000. Seven obstacles designed to test athletes in seven unique ways. Agility, explosiveness, raw strength, balance, and speed. You'll need to have all of these skills and more if you want to complete my obstacle course. Now, I am calling this the impossible obstacle course, but we know with enough training, anything is possible. So I'm going to show you what a perfect run looks like. Let's go. There is just one rule to this course. Do not touch anything red. Obstacle one, a ninja classic, the quintuple steps. Five steps, each with a 60 degree bank. There are many ways to get through this obstacle. This is the most dynamic. And he's safe and on to obstacle two, the vertical jump test. This box is 48 inches tall and surely there's an athlete with a 48 inch vert. I'm not him. So I'm going with the hand plant method and boom, I am on top of obstacle two, onto obstacle three, the pegboard. And this pegboard is brutal. A 16 foot span comprised of 15 peg holds. You'll need to use the oak dowels to inchworm your way across the span. This requires a ton of upper body strength and I wanted to put something in this course that rewarded the climbers and the ninjas. Once you're through the pegboard, you are on to obstacle four, arguably the toughest on the course, the lache. The lache is a dynamic movement where you leave one bar, fly through the air and catch another bar. We have set up our lache to be an exact 10 foot span. It is simple, it is not easy. And you are through arguably the toughest obstacle and on to obstacle five, an obstacle we've seen before, the tire flip. I wanted to add a feature that would reward raw strength. So here we have a 400 pound tire. The only way to continue your attempt is to get low, get under that tire and flip it over. As you can see, the top is red, you can't touch it. So you put the red side down and then it's as simple as hopping up onto the bottom, walking across and boom, you are on to obstacle six, the slack line. This is one inch webbing spanning 16 feet. It's doable, make sure you don't fall, don't touch the lava. And here I am swinging into the seventh and final obstacle and arguably the most intimidating, it is the warped wall. I designed this obstacle course to push me to my absolute limits. It was everything I could do to get through the first six obstacles. And here, obstacle seven, the warped wall has stopped me in my tracks. It's called the impossible obstacle course for a reason. And it will be so rewarding when I meet the athlete that is actually able to scale this wall. This means that no human has yet successfully climbed that wall. When they do, they will need to grab Benny the Bison. You see he's guarding the wall. He has a key around his neck. Bring Benny successfully down the rope, open the cash case, and the cash is yours. This is the Impossible Obstacle Course. Let's go meet our first competitor. Today, we have a group of elite CrossFitters running the course. First up, 25-year-old Aaron. My name is Aaron and I'm 25 years old. I live in Eugene. I like to do CrossFit. The obstacle I'm most excited for is the pegboard. The obstacle I'm most nervous for is the warped wall. I don't know how I'm gonna miss without hurting myself. If I win the $25,000 prize, I'm going to travel. And he's off on the quintuple steps and look at how agile this athlete is. Well done, Aaron, you're through obstacle one. On to obstacle two, the vertical jump test. Now remember, the only rule, don't touch anything red, that hand plant technique, perfectly okay, on to obstacle three. Don't touch anything red, that's the only rule. Just jump if you can make it. <laughs> 16 foot pegboard, 15 hand holds. And now, obstacle three, the pegboard. This obstacle will stop a lot of athletes, but Aaron, he's a surfer. He has great upper body strength. Let's see how he does. Nice. Get it. Nice. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, come on, Aaron. <laughs> no, no. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Unwind it. Unwind it. Yes. <laughs> no. Oh, look at those arms. 
<laughs> How are you doing this? Get it. Yes. Good recovery. Good recovery. And he's done it, he has recovered, but I wonder how much of his strength that just sapped. He continues to inch along on the pegboard. Dang, this kid's strong, let's go. Oh, get it. Oh, the other one. <laughs> Look at his face. Get it. Nice save, nice save. Oh. <laughs> no. How does he have the strength to do this? <laughs> Just take your time to really hit the peg. Really hit it. But he continues to dangle. Can he do this the entire way? This is an incredible showcase of his upper body strength. But if he can't hit those pegs, there's no way he's going to be able to cross this gap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice, nice, finish it up, finish it up. You're close. Oh, oh, good strength though, man. It's tough, if you miss a peg, you're in trouble. You really have to deliberately almost take an extra quarter second to just hit that peg. Yeah, you see it faster. We'll see you next week. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. All right. mom in the house. Hi, my name is Maddie, this is Frankie. Hi, Frankie. <laughs> 23, and she is six months old today. We're training, I like to do CrossFit, and she likes to watch. Uh, since having Frankie, training has definitely been hard to come back to. There are still things that I have to scale back, but it's been really fun and really rewarding, and it's a lot more fun doing it with her. With her, if I win $25,000, me, Frankie, and Ryan are traveling the world. Maddie, step up, show us how it's done. Show us that mom strength. Next up, 23-year-old Maddie about to show us that mom okay. strength. I love her technique here. Remember, there are many, many nice. ways to get through the quintuple nice. steps. I actually show you three of those techniques in the Nick Simmons Fit app if you wanna check those out. But I like what Maddie's doing here. Slow and steady wins this nice. race. Remember, there's no time cap. Just don't touch nice. the Good lava. Job. Good to go. Nice, Maddie. She's through obstacle one. That's the one you were most nervous about. You crushed that. Big vertical jump. Explode. Nice. Good technique. Good technique. Now this is where we saw Aaron struggle. Maddie, a phenomenally talented crossfitter. Is she going to be able to handle the pegboard better than Aaron? Watch as she pulls herself up into that half pull-up posture, that aggressive posture. And no, she swings back. Maddie, keep going. Keep going. No. Get it, Maddie. <laughs> well done. Thanks. You'll come back next week and do it again. So I'm Anthony. I'm 44 and three quarters. <laughs> and I like to, uh, I don't know, I just, I do CrossFit in the mornings, yeah. So the obstacle I'm most excited for is the uh, warped wall. I don't think, I'm not sure I'll get there because that tire is pretty heavy. The obstacle I'm excited about the least is the tire. If I win the $25,000, I'm going to remodel the kitchen. Let's go, Anthony. There it is. Nice. This is easy for you. Oh, careful. Big jump. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, the pegboard. He is through the first two obstacles with <laughs> ease, and now this is what I came for. I want to see how Anthony does on this pegboard. He is showing off. He is skipping pegs, and look at this guy go. <laughs> good save, good save. Oh, oh no, <laughs> bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. How is he doing this? <laughs> Come on, you got it. All the way through. <laughs> nice, nice, good shakeout, smart. All the way, all the way. All the way. One more. Reach if you can. Don't hit this red bar. You're almost there. Yeah, nice. Nice. He is on the last peg. It is okay to skip the last handhold as Anthony has done a perfect transition. He is through obstacle three. Anthony, our first competitor to make it to obstacle four, the lache. Here we go. Big tip. The explosives. Explode! Oh!
<laughs> Great try. Great try. Um, hi, my name is Alexis Briscoe. I am 30 years old and I am originally from Nebraska, but I live in Springfield, Oregon. For training, I like to do Olympic weightlifting. On this course, I am most excited to try my best. <laughs> you miss 100% of the shots exactly. that you don't take. Exactly. Yes, so um, I am least excited to biff it. If I win the $25,000, I am going to build a gym on my property. You have all the time in the world. There's only one rule, don't touch anything red. All right, next up, Alexis Briscoe. She says if she wins this, she is gonna build a gym on her property. And I'll tell you what, Alexis, I will be there to help. Alexis with those long legs navigating the quintuple steps effortlessly. Remember, these have a 60 degree bank. They are steep, but they are absolutely there doable. You go. There you go. Nice. Nice, well done. On to the pegboard. Now let's see if she learned some technique from Anthony. Anthony made that pegboard look easy. Alexis pulls herself up into that aggressive position. Nice, nice, up, perfect. Yes, put all your way up, yeah, oh! Great try, great try. That's an impressive pull up. I like that. Hey, my name is Reed Sims. I'm 15. I'm a cross country CrossFit hybrid athlete, and I'm ready to take on this course. I'm currently ranked 25th in the CrossFit Open for the 14 to 15 age group. I think definitely my CrossFit skills will play to this course. If I win the $25,000, I will buy a car. He goes by Didi, 15 years old, world class CrossFitter. Show us what you got. Didi is arguably the most athletic cross country runner you will ever see. He is about to put on a show, I promise. <laughs> nice, Didi. Nice. Nice. Easy. Oh, what'd you find there? Show the camera. I have hidden $100 bills throughout the entire course. How did you know that was there? I joined the Nick Simmons Fit app. Bingo! $100 richer! That's right, I have hidden $100 bills throughout the entire course. The location of each of these $100 bills is available inside the Nick Simmons Fit app. Make sure you download it now. All right, Didi now grabbing some chalk for the climbing obstacles, and you'll notice he's put on some victory grips. He knows he needs those in the lache. Guys, this is absolutely acceptable. If there is some accessory gear that you want to bring to the course, by all means. And also, do me a favor, if you are going to come compete, don't wear red or black t-shirts. Shout out to Didi, he wore that bright yellow, and he's making this look so effortless. Nice. Nice. Keep going, Didi. Oh, come on, save it, save it, nice. Nice, Didi. Finish it up, finish it up. Nice, Didi. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. You can do it. Nice. Good. Watch this post. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Two peg holds remaining. It looks like he's gonna reach it. He's done it. He reaches out and he has made the transition. Didi, well done. You are on to obstacle four. Let's see how he handles the lache. Check it out. Big swing. Come on, Didi. Big kip. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Big swing. Boom! Oh! That's awesome. Great try. Great try. This close. Hi, I'm Kent. This is my family. Uh, I'm 36 years old, and again, uh, Attempt this bad boy behind me. This is Stevie. 
Uh, Smith, Sailor, and my wife, Kayla. Probably least excited for that 10 foot gap. That's, yeah. that's a big gap. That's pretty, um, pretty scary. If we win the 25,000, down payment on the house. Yep. That's what I like to hear. All right, let's cheer Dad on. You ready for this? Let's do it. <laughs> this is the strongest human being I know strength to weight ratio by far. Show him what you got. Nice, nice, nice. Good save. Yes. Easy. Through the first obstacle. Big hand plant. Through the second obstacle. Chalk if you need it. Yeah. Let's go, Dad. 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 Kent is at least 30 pounds lighter than me but can beat me in almost every single lift. His strength to weight ratio is off the charts. I wanna see Kent win this more than any other competitor. Come on, Kent, show us how you do that pegboard. Now, Kent, of course, does have the advantage of having seen a few competitors successfully make their way through the pegboard. And everyone who has, has been able to pull themselves up into that aggressive position and keep a little swing going. This is the technique that allows you to most efficiently get through the pegboard. However, you cannot miss a peg hold. Doing so costs you a ton of time and a ton of energy. Uh-oh, and now Kent is playing cliffhanger. Bring it back, Kent. You can recover from this. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh! We'll see you next week. You gotta try that again. You're real close. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm Kat. I'm 28 years old. Uh, I do CrossFit six days a week. I love to not run. Who's better at CrossFit, me or you? Oh, me, absolutely. Hands down. I'm better at CrossFit than Dick. For work, I am the defensive coordinator for the Women's Across program at the UOBO. I'm most excited for the pegboard because it's freestanding and I'm curious to see if I'm going to be able to get across it. If I win the $25,000, I'm going to go buy a new Bronco. Next up, it's Kat, 28 years old, an elite CrossFitter. Let's go, you got this. Kat lifts with me every single morning at Treeline CrossFit, and I love seeing her there because she always brings a great attitude, and she also happens to be one of the best Olympic lifters I know. She can almost outlift me in all of the Olympic lifts, but can she survive the impossible obstacle course? She is through obstacle one. Well done, Kat. At just five foot two, Kat is one of our smallest competitors. Let's see how she handles the 48 inch vertical box jump. It's clean, it's clean. I'll allow it. Good jump. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, don't touch the red, don't touch the red. Not worth it. <laughs> Did you see how close that was? Oh my gosh. All right. Don't swing back at the post. Nice. Here we go, Kat. Come on. Yes. Oh, oh no. You're, you're, great try. Great try. Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm 32 years old and I work out at Triad CrossFit. I'm from Eugene, Oregon. My favorite thing about CrossFit is there's always something to improve. Given my skill set, I'm most excited about the tire flip and least excited about the warped wall. If I win the $25,000, I'm going to the casino and putting it all in double zero. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's go, double zero, when you're ready. And look at this beast of a man, Tyler, one of the strongest people I know. Nice. If we can see him get to the tire flip, he will make that look light as a feather. But first, he has to get through obstacle one, the quintuple steps, slow and steady, and he has done it. Through obstacle one, big vertical jump, big hand plant. Second, please. <laughs> Up, perfect, nicely done. Grab some chalk onto obstacle three, legless pegboard. Be quick and deliberate with these. Don't swing back and hit this post. One of the biggest challenges for bigger guys is being able to support your weight in a legless pegboard. But Tyler, with phenomenal upper body strength, is actually making this look really easy. Again, I just want to see him make it to that tire flip. Let's go, Tyler! Nicely done. Over halfway. Come on. Come on. Come on, keep it tight. Here we go. You're almost there. You're almost there. Stay strong. Stay strong. Two to go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. No, 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 no. Oh! So freaking close. Nicely done. Oh, this pegboard is brutal. 
I almost wanted you to just like let go and reach for the bar. You were so close. All right, no one was able to do the impossible, which means there are four chances for you to come here and win the 25 grand. When and where, you can only access that information inside the Nick Simmons Fit app. Download it today. I've added a link in the description below. See you soon.